I told you last video I'd show you a static hawk spawn on the way into Tumbleweed from the north. We are southbound right now on the road coming into the north end of Tumbleweed. And this is the spot right here. There's a hawk location. It's located on the R on the map of Gap Tooth Ridge. I'm going to show you the map right now. You're going to see where I'm at just on that R there, just north of Tumbleweed. So make sure when you're coming in, if it's daytime, keep an eye on that point. You might score a bird on your way in. Now, I know I also mentioned I would say what time the birds no longer spawn at Raskeller's Fork. And I think that it's at 7 p.m. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Now, I thought it might have been 6 p.m. before, because I've come up here at like 6.45 and haven't found birds before. Maybe it was even like 6.30. But there's times where you will come up here and not find birds even in the middle of the day. It happens. So I couldn't really verify that it was that time for sure. But now here I am, after 6 p.m., finding birds. So I'm with this hunt now. I make $27.19 and 108 XP in 8 minutes and 50 seconds. Well, that includes the load time. You know, I, the load time I include at the end of the video, I time lapse it 1500%, so it just flies right by. But I'm not recording the time of 1500%, obviously. I'm figuring the time in by real time. So that's 8 minutes and 50 seconds, including load time, to get back up here. Don't forget, too, next video I'm going to be explaining something to do. Like, I'm going to show you how you can fast travel anywhere in the map and end up back here by morning without it costing you a dime to fast travel. So you can go do something else in some other state and still end up back here without having to pay for fast travel. And then you won't go bored out of your mind while you're waiting for these birds to come back and start spawning again at 5 a.m. And that's kind of important because you get stuck over here in tumbleweed you know you got this all set up you don't want to ruin it and end up like over in Lemoyne or New Hanover and have to come back over here and set it back up again it's real ideal to be able to just work this location as your base of operations then you can make some good money now in the next video I think I downed seven top tier birds at this location at once but I think three of them end up despawning on me, which is unfortunate. Because it would be really awesome if we had seven birds to pluck in one run. I don't even know how much money I would make on that. But I think I get four of them plucked. I end up with, you know, a three-star goat. These chickens, you're going to get one plump meat and two chicken feathers. The plump meat's 40 cents. Each chicken feather is 30 cents. So that's a dollar for up to five chickens because you can only carry 10 feathers. So the six chickens only going to give you plump meat. It's only 40 cents for your sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, and tenth chicken. But your first five chickens are a dollar each. Plus your goat, I think the, we'll, we'll see the prices here when I sell it, but I think the goat carcass and hide is going to be over five dollars as well. So, you know, you're looking at ten dollars just in goat and chicken there. So let's look at the goat and see what that sells for. The hide's a dollar fifty. Well, the goat was only a dollar seventy-five. Okay, so that's three twenty-five. Well, no, it said three twenty-five. I don't know. I think it was three twenty-five for the two combined, plus the five chickens. So you're looking at eight twenty-five for your chickens and goat. So then you just quit. And then load back in, and you find yourself right back at Rest Colors Keep. This video picked up where the last one left off. The next one's picking up where this one left off. I think I'm going to make more of the next one, but I haven't done the numbers yet, so I'm not 100% sure. I'll catch you there. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.